Hello, it's me, the Irish Fun Runner. We're on a busy road, so we'll have to keep my eye on the road, so we won't be able to talk to Fun the whole time. But uh, I've been uh, doing some research before I came out run today about uh, certain uh, training programs, and um, you know, I find some of it interesting. A lot of it was not what I expected to find, but um, I started off from the watch here. Yeah, we're okay to cross. I uh, started off from the um, late 1800s. There was a uh, the training methods were. Uh, I found it a little surprising. What they did was they did very little actually running. They did mostly like really long walks. I mean, I'm sure they were like fast walks, good aerobic base work. But uh, and um, what they would do is they do very little fast running. They they normally do uh, try to run a half mile fast before breakfast and a half mile fast before dinner. So uh, you know, uh, I was very surprised with reading that. But uh, you know, then we go into the 1910s, 1930s people. Still did long walks, like four hours for their running, which is a bit strange. Um, they did like a little bit of interval training, but very little. Like typical interval session would be eight by 100. So that's very little, but there was a guy there called that Nermi. He, I think he was from Finland. What he did was uh, he started uh, bringing in interval training. This is where interval training really started. They still did very little of it. It was nearly all walking or slow running back then. And uh, what he'd do is, yeah, he'd run all, um, intervals up to 600 meters, that'd be the max. And uh, there were occasional workouts of one to two kilometers, but I'm not sure exactly there. So uh, next period is uh, the 1940s and the 1950s. There's a guy called Waldemar Joshar, I think I'm pronouncing that right. He, um, he, advised, he, he looked at the feet, the runs of Sweden and Finland, I decided they just they lacked speed, so they started bringing more like intervals. And um, they were doing really high volume, like was it, 80 by 200 or something. And uh, yeah, there was a mix of like high volume, low volume. Some people were doing 100 mile weeks, some people were doing like Roger Bannister, were doing very low volume, like he was doing. So it was for him to be 10 by 400, he'd be he'd do a progression, so. He'd run, generally he'd start his first 166 seconds and he'd run, he'd work his way down to 60 seconds for the last few. Alright, so next time period, 1960s, 1970s, this was the start of uh, the modern training. Um, the likes of Arthur and had brought in stuff like um, a lot steady long runs uh, again. So uh, before it used to be what, do four interval training four or five times a week, easy runs every other day. And uh, But Arthur said no, three times is off then easy runs every other day and uh, people used to, you know be, be high mileage and uh, so uh, this type of training was uh helped uh, runners in the like 1970s or 1980s be successful like you know doing this whole idea of two three sessions a week like one steady run then easy runs every other day um ireland uk america did very well at uh, this stage before the uh, kenyan started to dominate and um yeah for some reason we've gone downhill since then and um so I think the difference between uh, this training now and then is uh, it's more open to the public. Like back in the day, uh, I was reading about this guy called uh, Hogan, John Hogan. I think he uh, started running at 19. Everybody thought he was a lunatic at first, but then he broke an Irish record for five miles, 26 minutes, and uh, <laughs> suddenly for that reason he became. Uh, they stopped thinking he was a lunatic. It made the running seem more acceptable. So it was very leashes back then. It was only acceptable for elites to train, but. Uh, Nowadays, it's acceptable for um, everyone to run nowadays, but uh, at the same time, um, the elites still get more. Like, you know, they get sponsorship money, they get um, they get scholarship deals with colleges and universities. Uh, so yeah, still, still an unfair world we live in. But um, anyway, it's more about money, more about weight loss nowadays with the, the rise of obesity. And, uh, Trying to lose weight, get programs for your average unfit person who can only run say 30 minutes for the for the 5k or even slower. But um, anyway, uh, this is my uh, video. Oh, no, I'm also mentioning there's a lot of uh, there's more training fads nowadays because of people trying to make money, burn you out like HI18 and all that stuff. But uh, anyway, this is my uh, video on um, training methods through the years. Um, uh, comment below, what do you think? Uh, is there anything I've missed out that you know of back in the good old days? And uh, 
See you later.